Hello everybody, welcome back to a brand new video in today's video. It's a very busy day, so we're moving cattle today. We have a lot of stuff to do. A lot of moving as well. So, hope you enjoy today's video. Alright, just setting a, a fence right now. Unscrew that. Feed this down through the middle. Like so. Tighten this up. Earth spike is here. You get it down somewhere. That was a lot handier than expected. Alright, well, I don't need this coming out. Alright, I have fences to sort out. I thought I was going to have to lift this fence here. Yeah. But now we're actually putting them into that field just to clean it up. So fix up these fences. Alright, just done them fences. Yeah, just kind of moved it round in an arc. Or in a, a bow. Just lifting these two sticks that were left. So we don't need them now. I don't know what we'll have to do now. Whether it will be moving other fences or getting gates set up or that. But we'll try and video as much as we can today. And I'll show you what all we have to do in order to move the cattle. It's a lot of work just to move a few cattle. but. Has to be done. It's about quarter past ten. We're moving the cattle at eleven. So uh, the next job is moving a couple of cattle so that we can bring the ones from down below up the road through this field here, the, what we call the front field, where these cattle are at the minute. Let's see how it's going to work now shortly. So you should. Uh, it doesn't look like they're going to move. Let's see can we get them out of it. Come on, come on, come on! No, yes, are gone. Where, where are you going? Go that way for the gate. Yeah, yeah. Go that way to the gate. I'm going to beat her up. Oh, I'm big hill, wet hill, wet ground. In a pair of wellies. Well, again, cattle just don't. Like the play ball, so they don't sometimes. Huh? Come on. Come on. Come on. It wasn't too bad, they did sort of give themselves up, you know? So, get them across the lane. Oh, on, up, up. Come on, up. Come on, up, up. Nice calves there. Come on, girl, up. All is the one. So we got them across the lane. Now we're down at the field with the main herd. Is ah, come on, shh, on, come on, up, come on, come on, girl, come on, up, come on, a couple of nice calves here, so there is, but there's not many of them, unfortunately. Come on! Come on, up, up, up! Come on, up! Keep our let. Come on! Doing all right now. It's just once we get to the road, get them off the road as quick as we can. And that's it. Then we can manage them whenever they're at the house. A lot of them three replacement heifers to move. Either later on or Thursday. Keep our let.
away for a wee run. Jeez. Oh. Right, I have to go out through that gate there. And then follow my friends on over that field. Where I was setting it up past the cow and calf there today. There this morning whenever I made it into an a bow so that they can get then into the field. I don't even think that gets to I think it would have been a good idea to open that. Who will win? Humans or cows? 100% us. It would be nice to get the drone up. But just busy, busy, busy. Like a bumblebee. Right, see the gate? Yeah, you see the gap? Yes, you still see the gap? Oh, bingo. Lovely. Clean up the rest of that. Then we'll get more grass. Only like one feet left before they go in. Alright, now hopefully you would have seen um, why we had to put them cattle across here. Now we have to put them back across because we don't want the, that calf that's in the Charlie cow. We don't want it too big so that it's hard to calve. We wanted an easier calving. So you know, put so supposedly they put uh, the calf grows uh, the most um, in the last month, month and a half, I think. Um, so that's why they're over there. They have plenty of grass with you, man, but just like they can't absolutely stuff themselves, you know, because you'd eat, eat and eat and eat to grow the calf. So. Yeah, we'll just unpick this. Take them back across, ground is putting drop of petrol in the bike so that it doesn't stop because we've them three replacement halfish that we're gonna take home later on. So we've fences to lift and put up more fences to get them home. And just check this Charlie cow, make sure that she's you, know, you can really tell how the cow's gonna that it's close to cow. She fills up her alder with milk because the calf can get the, um, the milk whenever it's born and her bones, like her bones, just beside the tail, they'll start to s slip which means like they're going to go down more so there's room for the calf to come out. So as you can see she has filled up her alder. You're okay. You see that bone coming down off the tail? It will start to dip down and you can feel it whenever you put your hand on her back. So that's sort of how you tell whether they're ready to calve. Right, we're done where they were. Now we're just lifting the fence that's going down along this hedge and now we're gonna run it up along from there the crush right the way over to that gate just below my finger I one from that gate over here just to cut out the bug because we're bringing them three heifers back in putting them into the pen and we'll be picking them up in the cattle trailer a little later on so keep watching to see us bringing those lovely three heifers back across fences are up So these are our own peppers. Um, because we changed the bull, we can keep these on. Yeah. So 
So because which we're changing the bull, we can keep these three heifers because um, it's not the same bloodline. And they're nice heifers, these three. So they're coming home now. Uh, they have one field eight, and then they'll be going to the shed. Making some marks here. Just hitting the refresh button on the herd. Just refreshes all the cows to bring in younger stock. Big strong cows. That's why we bought that. Um, that heifer. If we're buying anything in, uh, you want to one an easy calver if it's a first calf, first time calver. You want like a limousine bull because usually an easier calf. And also you want a nice big heifer that will be able to... So we'll be taking them up. So that'll be all the cattle at the house. And there'll be not much work for the bike to do. And also, um, they'll be going in very, very shortly. Within a week, I'd say. The majority of them would be in. Ah, I'm stuck. Right, I left these fences. And we'll get them a couple of heifers home. <laughs> Just dropping the bucket a look down with the cattle here. So this here's what they're on. Sort of a chickweed and grass. It's not as nice as what they were on. So they're sort of looking in a wee bit of disgust at us. But it's grand grass, deleted. Just clean this up. This is where the wayland's were before the, we sold them the weekend. So they'll be on this for a couple of days, get it cleaned up. And then up just behind that ditch, and then the whole way up there, they'll be on all of that, get that cleaned up for the winter. And then they'll be heading in, they'll be opening the pit later this week. That's it for today's video, I do hope you enjoyed. If you did, please like, subscribe, ring the little bell, you'll get notifications of my videos on a Sunday. And sometimes I'll put up the widest of video, be widest the video now once I get them all edited. And yeah, see you in the next one. Have a good day.